Today's topic is about an extraordinary image generator that has no restrictions or daily limits. It offers 76 unique art styles and is completely free forever. At the end, I will reveal a little secret about this image generator that you definitely don't want to miss. So let me introduce you to Perchance AI Image Generator. The homepage features a clean and straightforward interface. You simply enter your prompt, select an art style, and generate your image. That's it. You don't even need to sign up, though if you do sign up by clicking here, your images will be saved to your account so you can access them later. Like most image generators, there's a text box to enter your prompt. Below that, you will find the negative prompt section where you can specify what you don't want in your image. For example, if you want dogs but not puppies or camera angles like close-ups or side angles, you can indicate that here. Next to it is the art style section, offering the widest variety of styles I have ever seen in a free tool, from cinematic photos, anime, to Studio Ghibli-inspired animations, illustrations, to vintage photography, and more. On the right, there's a shape option for selecting portrait, square, or landscape formats. You can also select how many images are generated at once, with a default of 6 and a max of 30. At the bottom, you will find the Show Comments and Gallery section. Clicking on it will open a chat-style comment box. And below that, you will see images created by other users. If you hover over an image, you will see the prompt and art style used. You can also click on the text to view both the prompt and the negative prompt. Since the prompts are similar to other AI tools, I quickly opened cart.ai, selected an image I liked, clicked on it, copied the prompt, then came back to Perchance and pasted it here. I then selected the casual photo style, and three attributes popped up, which I will come to in a moment. But first, I will select Landscape and click on Generate. While the result was decent, it didn't quite reach the quality of C-Art AI. So, I switched to the professional photo style, hoping for a more lifelike result, and it came out better than the casual style. Depending on the art style you choose, you will see three options below the prompt box to help fine-tune your result. When you select a filter, it's added to your prompt, and you can add multiple filters. To remove them, you will need to manually delete them from the prompt box. Next, let's try the traditional Japanese style. And it transformed the image into a Japanese woman. Just look at the eyes and facial features. So how about giving the Studio Ghibli style a shot? And it came out really nice. For those who aren't familiar, Studio Ghibli is a famous Japanese animation style scene in films like Howl's Moving Castle, Princess Mononoke, and the Oscar-winning Spirited Away. If you haven't seen them, they are definitely worth watching. Now let's mix things up and try the Disney sketch style. And this looks really cool. For the final style, let's try Medieval. It's a unique choice and a refreshing break from the usual options. However, I do have to say the image quality from Perchance is on the lower side. But as a completely free tool, it's still a useful option. Perchance also features an AI chat interface with an image generator, allowing you to create a character, describe the scenario, and start chatting. I will cover this in more details in another video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video topic. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more such AI content.